by the screwdriver. So I'm going to show you how to build a very simple project in the Delft AI Toolkit. First, we start by uh, adding a, a start node. And then uh, let's just create a simple action node. And the action node uh, can contain multiple uh, sub actions. So the default is move here, but we'll first uh, turn the LEDs on. And um, then uh, let's add another one where we're going to move uh, forward for half a second. And we'll move at a speed of one. And then we'll move backward again for half, half a second. We'll connect those two nodes together. And um, you can see uh, when we uh, play this that on the screen, um, it moves forward and back and changes color. Let's add one more so we can see the ending. Uh, let's add LEDs at the end with, uh, say, a red um, at the end. So I can uh, just play that again, and um, it finishes. And notice, too, that um, so that's happening on screen, but that's running the physical robot. So if I run it again and switch to our camera, you can see that the robot itself is moving like that. So uh, we can connect together as many nodes as we want. Um, uh, we could, uh, for example, create a, a splitter node that um, then does maybe four different things randomly after this set of actions. And so you can just string together all these different nodes and uh, very quickly build up and create uh, something. Uh, let's delete that. Um, but then create another action node. And um, here um, we have uh, many other actions. We can select a sound. And then after that, we can actually make the robot speak. OK, so we'll uh, run this again interactively. Hello, world. OK, so that's a quick demo of uh, how to use the Delft AI Toolkit. OK, this is an example of using the Delft AI Toolkit object recognition, uh, and this is using the onboard Raspberry Pi software uh, through the camera. So it points at an object and then uh, runs, in this case, Google Net, uh, which you can see here, we have several different models available, uh, and um, it then uses that to recognize an object. And uh, so to show you what we're doing here, we have the normal start uh, node. The first actions position the camera and then start up the object recognition. Then we pass control to the string condition, which waits for the response. And depending on the response, uh, does one of three things, which are represented here in these three different actions uh, as based on these outputs. And then we reset the camera and get ready to do it again. So let's uh, go ahead and run that. Points the camera. That's a cloud. Um, goes through the action and then repositions. And then uh, let's put a different object uh, in the view. So we point at that. Is that a screwdriver? And uh, lastly, just for fun, let's have nothing there. I haven't seen that before. OK, so that's a demonstration of object recognition using the Delft AI toolkit. In this example, we're going to look at using speech to text in the Delft AI toolkit. This uses the microphone uh, that's on the Raspberry Pi, which can record your voice, send it to the Google speech to text API that transcribes it, and then that comes back to the toolkit, which can then act on that. So let's take a look at the demo first, and then I'll explain how it works. Tell me what direction to go in. Forward. Left, right, backward, OK, so you can see how it works. Um, it's listening to my commands and acting on them. And the way this works here is in this first action, we give the voice command to tell it what to do. And then here, we play a little ping sound to get the user to know they need to give a direction. 
And then we go into the listen mode, which is recording the microphones. That's for about two seconds here. And then we wait here in the condition, and depending on what the person says and uh, the transcription of that, we act accordingly. So if they say forward, of course, we go uh, up to this action. If they say backward, to this action, and so on. Those actions all are then routed into the single uh, one action here where we blink the LEDs um, to confirm that the action was taken. And then the output of that is routed back to uh, this node where again we play the ping sound to prompt the user. So that's basically how this works. So this is an example of using speech to text in the Delft AI toolkit.